Welcome back. Uh, as mentioned, we're here in the uh, home of uh, Dalton Carter, right here in Wausau, Florida, preparing for what is going to be a very large year. This is the 44th annual occurrence of the Wausau Possum Festival, and uh, we're expecting uh, Rick Scott, Governor of Florida, Marty Coley, one of our state representatives, Matt Gates uh, from Okaloosa County is going to be here joining us. Um, this is not a political year. This is not a presidential cycle, nor that off cycle year. Yet, um, it looks like we're probably going to have more politicians than we typically would um, on those off years. Here, like I said, with Dalton Carter, enjoying um, uh, your, uh, your recounting of the history, what went right. into the making of, um, of the festival, Dalton. Uh, we get uh, th literally thousands of hits a week on the Wausau Possum Festival website, especially in the first, in the two or three months preceding the festival. Right. Much of this is driven by uh, people making fun of the festival, right. having some sport with the uh, fact yep. that uh, we, we have a possum and that we even recognize the fact that we have one and that we are holding a festival yeah. in honor of that, uh, yeah. of that marsupial. Right. Um, the possum actually, uh, many years ago, figured into the subsistence and, and actually the, f the ability for some of the people in this area to survive during the right. Great Depression That's and so true, forth. Paul. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, well, they, they did. Uh, if it hadn't been for the possum, there have been some people in, in the Warsaw area, probably in the southeast, that might, uh, you know, malnutrition. The possum's got a lot of uh, protein, it's good, and it's good meat. And uh, I'm talking about in the whole southeast. Now, Paul, the reason that uh, we did that, you're talking about, I, I know what you're talking about. Me, uh, why did you bring up the possum? Why did you call it Possum Day? Well, Paul, look here, I wanted something unusual, and I thought the possum was unusual name for a possum festival. So not only that, I got to thinking about this. Now over there at Blunchtown, they got Goat Day. And over here in Calvary, Georgia, they got Mule Day. And they up here in Enterprise, Alabama, they used to have Bow Weevil Day, Bow Weevil. Now I wonder if that man up there that chairs for the Bow Weevil Fest, he gets talked about like I do about a possum. I'm sure. All right, now then over here at Boggy Bow, they got a mullet festival. You reckon the chairman gets talked about because he's pushing the mullet? But you know what I've done, Paul? I said, I'm going to give the old possum a day. And that's exactly why we're doing it. We got a monument erected for him down there. We did that in 1982. We erected a monument for the possum. And how we did that, we got donations. If anybody wanted the name engraved on that monument, and if you look behind the back of it, you'll see those that contributed. That monument cost in the neighborhood of over $3,000. But people give, I believe at that time, it's been a long time, Paul, uh, about $25 a piece. We got organizations. But look, we did not have any trouble getting that monument erected because people wanted to come and help out, and their name is on the back of that monument. And that's how we got the Possum Monument. But we owe a lot to the Possum. We're proud of him. I'm, I'm proud of the Possum. And, well, and rightfully so. A uh, picture right now of that monument on the screen. Um, the Wausau Possum Festival has grown into more than just a party in a small town. It's become a sign, almost representative, of the indomitable spirit of the American uh, uh, people as a whole, and people who can take uh, diverse or, or, or uh, adversity, that can take uh, challenges, especially in these fiscal times, right. and can come together and still enjoy that sense of community. And to me, the Wausau Possum Festival embodies all that a real community should be. Wausau is a very small town. Right. Uh, the town itself, 1.1 square miles, under 200 uh, population. Uh, when the Florida Department of Law Enforcement met with us last week uh, and we were looking at the layout uh, and, and how the governor was going to have his security right. in place, they sort of looked around and they said, are you sure this is the right place? Because uh -huh. this is just a little old place. Right. I said, well, this one blinking yellow light is, right. has a lot of history uh, around it right yeah. here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, some of your fondest memories of the festival. I'm sure that you've got some pretty interesting stories and anecdotes and so forth. Um, over the years, uh, a lot of high profile people have come and gone, polit uh, politicians, other political figures. Yeah. Uh, what, what are one or two of the stories that really stand out in your yeah. mind? Well, getting back to the politicians, Paul, briefly, I would like to say this. We had some of the... We've had governors here. We had uh, Governor Martinez. We had Governor Jeb Bush. We had Governor Lawton Childs. And now then we've got Governor Scott coming. So, but uh, looking back over the festival and the, and the fondest members, some of the real highlights of it is this. 
Uh, you take when Sam Mitchell was a dear friend of mine, the late Sam Mitchell, and the late Dempsey Barron, he was a state senator. And uh, Sam Mitchell run against Barron one time for senator, and Barron beat him. And, and look here, Sam Mitchell and Dempsey Barron did not have too friendly a political relationship, I can assure you. But anyway, Paul, prior to fun day one year, I forget what year it was, I was going down to the Tom Thumb to get me a drink. And as I went in, just before fun day, about a month, I met the possum day. I, I met uh, Senator Barron coming out. It was hot weather. He was up here politicking in Washington County. I was going in to get me a cold drink. And I met him coming out of the door. He says, hey, darling, this, you got a minute? I said, yes, Senator, let's, I got plenty of time. He was a good friend of mine. And he supported the festival. Sam supported it. A lot of people, I mean, like I said, supported the politicians. But anyway, getting back to Sam and Barron. Now, this is a highlight. Uh, Barron says, we had an old uh, famous possum. The male possum was old Sand Hill Sam, you know. Now, he was a choice possum, but he passed away. And then we had Sodom Sally, you know, the female. That's where we got the offspring. That's the reason our possums are so good here, because old Sand Hill Sam and Sodom Sally. But anyway, uh, uh, Dempsey Barron said, Dolan said, see if you could get a, just a track of old Sand Hill Sam and get it uh, mounted, and uh, he says, I'll buy that possum track. Come fun day, I'll bid on it. I'll buy that track. And Senator Barron was looking at me, and I, I says uh, to myself, I says, Senator, you either told me a truth or you're gonna, you have told me a lie. I'm going to see what you'll do fun day. So what I did, after I got through talking to Senator Barron, I left Walsall and went to Sam Mitchell's trailer park in Chipley. He had a, a mobile home sales lot there. And I didn't, I walked in, I said, Sam, look here, I got something I want to tell you. I said, I just talked to Senator Barron down there. And I said, look here, and here's the story. I says, he wants me to get old Sam Hill, Sam's track. And I said, I can get Sheriff Fred Peel to go down there and get me a possum track in plastic Paris. And I said, I, I can get the trophy fixed. And uh, he, he said he'd bear it. I said, Sam, he told me he'd buy that track. And Sam looked at me, he didn't like Barron. He said, darling, he said, look here, let me tell you something. And, and I'm going to have to tell you, I will not say what Sam told me. But Sam said, darling, says, go ahead and get the track fixed. I will make that red-headed, and, and please forget it, <laughs> S-O-B. I mean, excuse me. He says, I'll make him buy it. So what I did, I went and got Sheriff Peel to go down there with me and get a possum track just as pretty as I've seen, put it on a plate. I got old buddy Neil up at Chipped and made him aware of what was going to take place. And then when it come to possum auction, I come walking with the track out there. So here come Barron and Mitchell. Barron didn't know Sam was going to bid on it. So they got to going. They got to going until it got up to $495. I got, the, I got the original bid right out of I kept it. You can get a picture sometime if you want to and use it. So when Sam Mitchell, if he was living today, he thought Dempsey Barron was going to drop that track on him at $495. Sam says if you had just bid one more dollar, Senator, he didn't let him know it, but Sam told me. He said if you had bid just one more dollar, he said you can have that possum track. So Barron bid $496, and Sam let him have that possum track. That's one of the highlights of the festival, and uh, this sticks out in my mind. And another thing is the donkey baseball game. That was one of the most, uh, uh, it was probably the best event that we ever had down there as far as the festival, but it got to where we couldn't get the man with the donkeys to come because of the liability insurance that he had, and you don't see donkeys no more playing basketball or baseball, but that was a highlight of our festival was the donkey baseball game. Well, you know, the, hum the animal rights activists and so forth right. have made those things tougher. Right. And as you point out, liability. Right. One thing that the festival has done, though, over the last five or six years is sort of taken a turn back to the old timey uh, uh, features. The greasy pole, the sack races, right. this year bringing back the crosscut saw contest. Right. Um, those are the things that Heartland America loves. Right. They don't require batteries. They don't require a power source. And, uh, and sometimes the kids are kind of at a loss to have what to do with something that doesn't require a battery or that's not on, right. a, on a video yeah. screen anymore. But it gives them a taste of the old days. 
And again, I think that is one of the things that the uh, Wausau Possum Festival captures. From the time you walk up and there's a, a big old tin tub there with ice water, with ice floating in it, right. a good country water, and uh, all the way to the point when you finally leave because you've seen it, seen it all, You've enjoyed, as you point out, gospel and country and bluegrass music. Right. You've enjoyed the possum auction and the quilt right. auction. Yeah. All of these being really retro, old-timey things, which shouldn't be retro. It should be things that we embrace, but we've lost sight of. Do you feel that the overall over the years people have thanked you for being able to capture and to display our culture uh, that we enjoy here in Northwest Florida through that festival? I think they have, Paul. Look here, Wausau's got a page on Facebook says, uh, you know you're from Warsaw. Look at those kids, how they respond about what happened during the Possum Festival. You take right down here across from, right next to the Masonic Lodge, that, that dwelling there now, it's a dwelling, but that was a little the grocery store. Mr. Paul and Annie Mae Smith had a grocery store. And their kids would come, that's just an example, their kids would come back home for the Possum Festival and just had a vacation and they'd come back home. And Miss Smith told me one time that she had 21 people laying around in her house uh, on possum night. You know, I, the kids that had come home on vacation. And uh, I think that they're proud of it and they don't forget it. They thank me. And because if you see the comments on that page from Warsaw, <clears throat> the kids that used to go around with me dragging a sack, I had to clean the town up. We didn't have the, the presence to do it now. The Department of Corrections to go around and clean it up. I had to take some kids with corn sacks and go along and pick up cuts after on Sunday morning at the Possum Festival. And those kids are on Facebook right now, and they come back and they tell me how they enjoyed it, and, and, and they got the highest respect for me, and I appreciate it. I wanted to plan something, Paul, for the family. I said, look here, it's a fun day in Possum Festival is what it is. I said, I want to plan one day where our family can go somewhere and have fun. Just one day out of the year, they 365. But one day, go somewhere and have fun and not have to worry about a bunch of drunks, uh, not have to worry about this or that, but go down and enjoy clean fun. And I tell you what I've had. I've had the best cooperation from the Sheriff's Department. I hadn't needed a lot of it, it doesn't look like. I mean, our festival is good. But the, but the law enforcement officers, the Highway Patrol, the Game Commission, all these people that's in law enforcement have joined in and we have had a good, clean possum fest to live since day one. And I appreciate that cooperation. We're here talking with Dalton Carter here in Wausau, Florida. You're watching Real Florida Magazine, and we will be right back. 